Morning, folks. Hope you're well. It's uh, kind of a cloudy day, sort of here in beautiful here in the countryside. At uh, it's not Hollywood Studios and uh, beautiful downtown Bowlby. Uh, it's kind of cold out. I was uh, out just now having a having a trip to the track, uh, taking the trash out, and it seems quite nippy out. But nonetheless, it's uh, it's not a bad day. It certainly, certainly it probably promises to be at least reasonably pleasant weather-wise. Uh, I want to talk today a little bit about a couple, of, a few experiences I've had recently uh, that I think are interesting and might be. Uh, I would like to talk a little bit about. Um, one of those was I recently. Uh, Recently, been very lucky to pick up some work at very at uh, at, an, at an establishment near me here and uh, here in the countryside, um, and it's a teaching gig, and for which I was asked to well come in business casual business casual and uh, on hearing that I said okay I've um, well I don't own a tie right I don't own in fact, well actually I own two but they're not they're humorous ties and said look you know when my uh, my uh, my business is teaching um, and I don't own a corporate yuppie suit um, and so far as that goes practically if not literally in none of the teachers that I learned from came to the dressed like a corporate yuppie but yet somehow knew their stuff so and I said, so is it art now? Usually what I teach in is something like this. Is that okay? And said, yeah, that's okay. So long as you don't wear them blue jeans. Okay. All right. So, and it's interestingly enough, uh, some of my best composition professors uh, came to class in, came to class in blue jeans quite a bit. And yet, somehow, could ply their craft and could teach really well. So, business casual, right? And now, I you have to admit that there are certain times and certain places where you would want want to show up dressed in a particular way. You know, for example, you know, if like oh, I don't know, if Angelo Mosca uh, from the formerly of the uh, Hamilton Tiber. Hamilton Tiger Cats football team uh, came to play a professional level football game dressed in, oh, let's see, like a tuxedo, uh, then chances are that's probably not a good idea to try that uh, if for no other reason than the fact that that chances are the guy's going to the guy, people get beat up in football games anyway, and not wearing pads would probably result in injury, and at the very least, may probably some torn tuxedo pants that might need to get replaced or sewn. And similarly, oh, say like uh, Mark Spitz. Uh, Mark Spitz were to come, the Olympic swimmer who years ago won, I think, six or seven. Uh, gold medals in one in one Olympics uh, game, one of the Olympic games. You know, if he were to, you know, uh, try to swim one of his swimming competitions in, oh, like, you know, like he came dressed like a medieval knight in full armor, then that too is probably at best counterproductive. Because, well, suits of armor weigh a bunch and would probably end up with him drowning rather than winning. So, whereas I can see certain places where, you know, where 
you know, clothing does have a lot to, or what, what one wears or doesn't wear, um, has, can have a, can have deleterious effects on one's, uh, on one's ability. Uh, but so far as I, or it's been my experience that, uh, the quality of education that I receive, particularly in musical composition, um, and other related topics, well, had nothing to do uh, whatsoever with whether or not you looked like a corporate yuppie. It didn't. Some now you can certainly give a lecture dressed in a nice business suit. You certainly you can certainly do that, but well, it's not absolutely necessary to do that. To look like a, to look like, here I am a man of business. When it's my business to write, to teach people how to write music. I don't have to look like, you know, I don't have to look like a corporate lawyer in order to do that. And I never have. And practically, if not literally all of my composition professors and people who I've talked with and, and admired, well... You know, they didn't wear that. Um, Mozart certainly didn't. You know, and so, and also things like, uh, I meant to like, say like probably one of my, what the composers I admire a lot is John Cage. And I don't, I kind of remember seeing him in one instance where he was in a suit and tie, and he probably did. Uh, but, Usually, the guy showed up with, in blue jeans or something very informal. Uh, and it depends on, what, depends on what you mean by formal. Basically, what I'm trying to say is that if you're so worried about how someone looks in a, in a business suit uh, and not worrying about what he or she has up in here, then you're looking for the wrong thing. You're looking for, you want someone to help you. You want someone to write music for you. You want someone to help you learn how to write music. It's got nothing to do. No, it doesn't. It has nothing to do with whether or not they look like a business major. Because Bach didn't. And Mozart didn't. And Beethoven didn't. And Haydn didn't wear a suit and tie. I mean, he wore you know, appropriate dress, but business suits? No, no, they didn't. And yet somehow, somehow they wrote some really very good music. And that's also the case now. So whether it's business casual or dressed in a tie, because that's what parents expect. Well, yeah, then they're expecting the wrong things. They're expecting the wrong things. There's an old tune uh, by the Five Man Electrical Band, a Canadian rock and roll group that uh, came up during my time, uh, and it goes. And there's a lyric that goes something like, "The sign said." Long-haired, freaky people need not apply. So I stuffed my hair up under my hat, and I went in to ask him why. And he says, you look like a fine, outstanding young man. I think you do. So I took my hat off and said, imagine that. Me, working for you. Whether or not, whether it's up like this or whether it's down like that, I've got a doctorate in music. I had the education. I had the experience in order to do it. And it's got nothing to do with whether or not I've got a t-shirt on or whether it's not I'm dressed to the nines like a corporate. Yep. It's got nothing to do with it. It has absolutely nothing to do with it. No, it doesn't. It has, abs it has about as much to do with it as the idea that a whole pile of technology st stuck in a corner is going to give you the ability to write it, write music. It doesn't. Never has and never will. Business casual. Gotta wear a tie. 
What a load of horse manure. That's exactly what it is, horse manure. You don't like it? Tough. Bye for now. <laughs>